I always wanted to try making my own pottery. This kid F5 below for $5 was screaming my name and we're gonna give it a try. Knowing me and how much I love to DIY things and make stuff from scratch, being able to have my own pottery wheel and create my own pottery pieces was super exciting. And this kit offered a lot for just a couple dollars. You got the actual pottery wheel itself, some paint, and the clay. And depending on clay, that can be rather expensive. I took a couple minutes, you know, and read thoroughly over these directions here, and it seemed fairly straightforward. It was at this moment that I realized, uh-oh, I need batteries. But what kind of batteries? Because I didn't read the box. So I figured let's grab my little screwdriver, open this sucker up and see what I got to go find or purchase. And for all of you wondering, we need D batteries, okay? Some D batteries. Luckily I had them suckers. I'll spare you that noise for most of the rest of this section of the video. I took a minute getting everything set up, popped the paints in place. It recommended having a bowl of water so you could dip it for the clay, keep everything nice and smooth. <sighs> Mind your business, I was thirsty, okay? I opened up the clay and to my surprise, oh, this clay is not. Nice. The directions recommended to kind of roll it around, rub it around, smush it down <laughs> for a couple minutes. So I did just that. It was really easy to work with. If you struggle with some hand grip strength issues like I do, this wasn't completely awful. The clay was really smooth. I put a little divot in the top to get our pot piece kind of started and poured some water in there. And I realized that this is definitely heavier than our mechanism is ready to handle. So I just decided that in order to get it to move, we're gonna need to soak this sucker <laughs> and dunked it in the water quite a few times, okay? We were definitely very smooshy going forward. I wanted to make sure that the weight didn't completely stop this thing from spinning. The wetter the clay was, the easier it was for my hands to just slide around the piece. What I noticed though, was that even if I was putting like a finger on the inside and one on the outside and I'm trying to gingerly press, it still stopped the mechanism from moving. Just when I thought I had it going perfectly, the top edges started to wilt either outwards or inwards. The taller I made them, the more they wilted. So I started trying to take my hands and push it together and then they went towards the inside. It was at this moment, I realized the batteries were dying because while it's only been a couple minutes for you here, I was at this for about an hour trying to get this piece of clay to work. I managed to get it going again. I was really happy about that. I added more water and I continued just trying to create the sides large enough to pop them up. Unfortunately, oh no, <laughs> it stopped working. <laughs> now what do I do? Oh no. <laughs> I really wanted to get the clay off of here at this point because I wanted to try and salvage the clay and make a pot anyway, even if it was just by hand. I love trying to show you guys beyond the struggle. So I used this little string that they included in the kit to help you remove it from the piece and I lost it inside of the clay. I had to go peel that out. It was a hot mess. Once I pulled the clay up, I managed to get it working again, and then I didn't. Sometimes despite our best efforts, things just don't work out. 
When my kids were little, one of my favorite things to do with them in the summer was to paint sun catchers. Obviously, the ones that I would pick up were smaller than this giant one you can pick up from Five Below for $5. I was really pleased with this kit. First of all, you get a large sun catcher. They also had another option for you to pick from that I've seen at the store. And you get a bunch of paints. You also get the little suction cup too. So you don't even have to buy that or have something hanging in your window to put this on. I do want you to know this is plastic in case you're thinking it's glass, it is plastic. I did decide to switch out paint brushes though. Grab me a thicker one because look at this teeny one. We would have been painting all day. Instead, I just grabbed this fat sucker. I slapped some different color paints on here and quickly might I add because it was getting dark out. So I knew that if I didn't get this painted quickly, I wasn't gonna have a reveal for the video. I did use my heat gun to speed up the process and I put three layers of paint of each color in each section on this sun catcher. This was super easy to do. I love how it turned out. And for $5 and the size and everything you get, I love that kit. I have been eyeing these printed canvases up from Five Below for quite some time. And today we're going to be giving one of these a try, not two, because you actually get two in the kits. They're pretty large and the designs on these are really cool. While I love this disco ball joint, I knew it would take me a really long time to actually paint it. These boots, however, well, they were made for doing in about two hours. Since we had a little bit of bowing in the canvas itself, I grabbed some painter's tape and just popped that right down on the edges. I really appreciate that the kit included these little pictures, kind of giving you an idea how they painted it, as well as the amount of paint options that you have at the bottom for each one of the designs. However, I'm gonna take some of these paints and kind of just create my own design. Even though they provided me with some paintbrushes, I wanted to use a thicker paintbrush on the larger part of the boot. So this way I wasn't painting this longer than the two hours roughly that it took me to paint it. And honestly, people, part of me trying kits and things like that is to inspire you to kind of step outside of your comfort zone, grab something you see at the store, give it a try, remix it into something that works for you. And I want you to see here how I took these boots, I added some shading, I popped different colors on here. So this way you could see that this would be something you could pop on your wall somewhere. And not just a piece that looks like it would go in a child's room. I also really feel like if you're not good at painting, something like this, because it's not a paint by numbers, it's not specifically instructing you to, hey, pick this color. It's just giving you lines to kind of stay in and then create from within the lines. So you're able to have the freedom to see the piece as you would want it to be in your home. If I'm being 100% honest, this is one of my favorite kits I have tried from Five Below. The canvas pieces are really, really nice. And the paint, believe it or not, it's also really, really nice. Other than the fact that they only provided small little brushes, I love this piece. And I had plenty of paint brushes at home to make up for the tiny little pieces. I purposely kept the flowers messy. I wanted to share with you that if you just kind of color in different colors in something like this and grab a black pen or a black Sharpie, you can go around the edges where you painted, creating little details, just bringing those flowers to life. And you don't have to paint it perfectly, but it will look like you did. 
it's not perfect, but I love how this piece turned out. I really enjoyed creating this kit. If I have more time, I could pop some more details in there. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me try more DIY craft kits. As always, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, bye!